Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Salt and Light. Well, in the last episode, we got the radius chines on, uh, coated with epoxy and some primer. Uh, and once uh, we had that done, we were able to look at putting uh, the bottom step in as well and the transom um, and start preparing uh, the steps uh, on the sugar scoops uh, before we uh, turned uh, the holes over. We're going to start looking at uh, fitting the bottom step and uh, just it was a little bit tricky. Tr you know, it was a, it's an awkward shape uh, step to start with and then it's an awkward shape uh, hull, which is everything to do with boat building. Uh, everything's awkward. I hope you enjoy this episode uh, as we look at just fitting uh, the transom and the uh, bottom step. Uh, but today I'm going to uh, remove uh, the uh, temporary bulkheads um, at the back. Uh, now that the radius chines are on, I can remove these. And so um, just a, another step forward into uh, getting these holes ready to turn over. Uh, so that's our plan for today. Going to remove all the screws and get them ready to be pulled out. Yeah, and once I got the uh, sizes of how the steps were going to sit, uh, I was able to then transfer uh, those sizes onto the side panels. And it was important that I made sure that the uh, third step, because uh, it had to be level with the bridge deck, so I needed to make sure that that one was right to start off with, and then I was able to work back down from there. And once I've got the lines marked, 
uh, for the top of the step. I was then able to uh, look at putting some timber uh, onto the lines. Uh, they would then hold the step in place. And once I had the uh, steps all marked out, I need to uh, mark uh, the angle for the transom. And I think from memory that it was about an 8 degree uh, angle uh, that the transom sits at. Uh, so I needed to mark that onto the stringers and then cut the stringers back uh, so that the transom would then be able to sit at that angle. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I lost all of my footage uh, relating to the fitting of the transom. Uh, I didn't end up using the um, two 6mm pieces that came with the kit. Uh, rather, I opted to make a 12mm piece and put a rebate into the top of the, uh, the transom uh, that the step uh, would then be able to sit into. Uh, by doing that I was able to make sure that the uh, step was straight and flat uh, across the back edge of the transom. Alright, I've got this fitting pretty closely now, just, just a little bit more uh, to be taken off this edge here. Uh, uh, so I'm going to plane that in and hopefully this time it will fit. I've only tried to, it's only been in and out about uh, four times so far, so not too bad. Um, so I'm nearly there. So it was pretty awkward uh, trying to hold the step in place right, and okay. fit it at the same time and line it up uh, with the lines that are on uh, the side of the hull. Uh, so I cut some uh, plywood uh, which then sat on top of the stringer and I cut the top pieces on the angle of to the line that I had marked on the side of the hull. Uh, that way I could put the step on top of those pieces uh, and and they would hold the step in place uh, at the right angle. So I'm really happy with the way the step is sitting uh, now. I'm just going to fit, uh, cut and fit uh, the uh, strips of timber cedar that I'm going to glue onto the side of the hole uh, which will eventually hold the step in place. And once I had the uh, pieces of cedar cut and fitted uh, and to the right shape that I wanted. I just covered the step uh, with some packaging tape uh, and then that way I was able to glue these pieces into the hole without them sticking to the step uh, and then uh, the next day I was able to uh, remove the tape and glue the step in place. I've got um, this piece of uh, wood I'm just going to glue this in now. I've chamfered it off because uh, I've got a tab uh, tab it into place and tab the shelf into place uh, so that's what the chamfer is for just to help with the tabbing um, and we'll glue that into nice uh, same with this side a bit hard to see it's getting a bit dark now but now the step is uh, glued in place uh, I prepare the surface give everything a good sand uh, smooth it all out 
and uh, get ready to put in the structural fillets uh, and also uh, two layers of uh, 450 gram uh, glass over the top of uh, the fillets and all of the joints. Well, that's it uh, for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, please leave a comment. If you like uh, the video, uh, please subscribe and, and give us a like. Uh, that'd be great. And we'll see you in the next video.